Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and Milwaukee has a couple of thousand volt insulated multi-bit screwdriver set, more of a precision set, and then a standard set. These are in Velcro housings, there are eight bits in each set and a handle. Uh, they're held in nicely, although I do have a complaint right away, and that's uh, the actual designation of what the bit is, is generally covered by that Velcro. So if you're wondering what it is, you got to slide it away. Not a big deal because you can easily see the tips, but it just seemed kind of funny, you know, that the that they would miss that. Uh, anyway, what we've got is a slightly different sized um, rear end here. So if I throw a caliper on that, um, 25 64 maybe. So it fits into the handle but does not fit into, you know, a traditional uh, quarter-inch bit driver. Uh, it's quite light, seems effective, 1,000-volt rated. I'll play with my little machine in a sec. Um, so what do we have? We've got, well, I'll slide those out so you can see. Quarter-inch slotted, 3 16 slotted, um, ECX-1, the CCX-2, and then Phillips-1, Phillips-2, Square-1, and Square-2 for the total layout in a fairly substantial uh, Velcro case. The handle, kind of nice, um, very lightweight, a uh, little bit of yellow there, I guess, to, to note that, insulated, multi. I did notice, playing around, that if you take one of like Klein's little um, multi-bit, multi-stubbies here, that this will fit in there, um, just kind of a snug fit, and spins <laughs> so it's not useful but in case you're wondering does it fit in something else no not that i could find uh it does fit in here snaps in seems seems plenty good um sometimes you wonder when you're holding bits and nothing but plastic this one here a little bit smaller again eight bits a little more of a precision handle here same issue what are the bits well you gotta slide them out of the way to read them so here we've got um, a T7, a T8, T15, uh, T10, we'll guess those are out of order, and then uh, Phillips 0, Phillips double zero, and then a couple of slotted, 3 30 seconds and 1 8 uh, with a um, kind of a precision handle. And of course these are smaller than the standard, so you put it in any kind of a qu normal quarter inch here, and it tends to flop around. Uh, that is apparently so you don't get misled that you're using an insulated tool when you're not because the handle isn't insulated. So let me go ahead and uh, show you one other thing and then we'll test it and that has to do, I'll use one of these, with the the taper here. If you notice a lot of other screwdrivers, these are insulated screwdrivers, 1000 volt rated, um, but they get quite thick. Let me grab a Phillips 2 make this in the same comparison. They get kind of thick up front. Now, apparently there are uh, slim screwdrivers and standard screwdrivers, and this is really the difference right here. If I throw this thing up and actually get it on, maybe go about an inch in, uh, 5 16 so I'll go to millimeter here. So I've got about 6.4 millimeters, and then I'll go to the standard here. 7.87. So about a millimeter and a half difference um, on those. And then the fluke, this one here is just comes in, as far as I can tell, just the slim. So these are very similar. Actually, the fluke, I think, gets the nod in this case. If I go up a little bit, basically six to again, 6.4. Um, Klein on their standard insulation one, they actually have a slim line set that costs um, one and a half to almost twice as much more. This one you can see is eight, it's huge. So there's that. But let's go ahead and zap them and see. Played around a little bit with this, have to realize I need to keep my caliper away because the, uh, the electromagnetic radiation, I guess, coming off of this thing. Um, does in fact fire up that, but not at zero. So we'll turn it on a little bit. You can see. Maybe I'll do it over the black. I don't feel anything there. 
I'm gonna pop the bit out and try it. I do, you know, as I was, I can, I can feel that in my finger. Ouch, that one zapped me a little bit. Let's try one of the big ones. Nothing. Nothing. Let's give it a little more juice. Yeah, I can feel it a little buzzy inside. Um, I wonder if I can get it to jump a gap here. I'll try that. So I'll line that one up. I don't know if I want it in my hand. Probably shouldn't try this without a net. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap between these. Is it jumping? Yep, I can see it. Maybe I'll turn out a light here. Can you see it jumping the gap? Right in here, there's a little... Yeah, can you see it? Take it away. Whoops. Can you see it? Take it away. What we're looking at is just a little tiny thing right there. I can see it. Take it away. Um, anyway, hey, I know, maybe I can zoom in on it. There is a zoom on this camera. I don't use that that much. See that? So it is going through this. So I'm using it at a much higher number of volts, probably. Not much uh, amps, but... Um, so it would probably be wise to... Whoops, go back to where I was here. Um, get back into focus. Probably be uh, smart to go into... Uh, into their handle to make sure. Um, but anyway, there they are. They seem to be a decent set, uh, given that most others, to get the slim line, you're going to be paying about the same amount, maybe just a touch less, for a standard Phillips and slotted with the, the slim. Or um, you're going to be paying maybe half the amount just for two Phillips and slotted that are not slim. But anyway, there they are, the um, Milwaukee 1000 volt insulated screwdriver bit sets. And with that, dock out.